Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our series on the HP Reliant DL380 Gen 11 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on RAID. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the HPE ProLiant DL380 Gen 11 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, we'll top in. Uh, this video will be specifically dedicated to RAID and will be a continuation of our series on the DL380 Gen 11 as a whole. So if you're just joining us, hey, you might want to check out some of the other videos that we've done in the series because we cover a whole bunch of topics. So uh, let's get started what we're going to do in this video. So we are going to start by putting up a nice comparison chart of the compatible HPE RAID controllers for your Gen 11 server. And and that chart's going to show you the RAID levels, the cache, the drive speeds, the PCI gens, uh, whether it's hardware or software, which obviously the bulk of them will be hardware, but it's going to be just a nice uh, comparison chart for you. Then we're going to go over the two different types of RAID, which really there are the uh, OCP3 and the PCIe. Those are going to be the two form factors that you're going to have. Then we're going to actually show you a nice little close up of the OC3P. And then we're going to show you how to actually install it into the server. And at the very end, we're going to show you how to configure RAID 5. So yeah, there's going to be a lot going on in this video. So let's go ahead and hop into the RAID comparison chart first. All right, here is our RAID chart. The top two are going to be uh, software RAID and all the bottom ones are going to be hardware RAID. Um, and really, you can pause it here if you want to go over all the actual details so we don't waste a ton of time here. But I did want to note but that both the software RAIDs are going to support NVMe, which is important. And really, most of the hardware ones will, except for there's an old PCIe Gen 3 that does not. Um, and you'll notice on the back of the uh, hardware part numbers under the uh, RAID options in the first column, it has a dash P or a dash O. That P will call out if it is a PCIe form factor, and the O will call out if it's an OCP3 form factor. And then another important note, if you look at the MR in the front versus the very bottom one has an SR, the MR RAID controllers cannot be used for smart storage administrator, so they do not support SSA or smart storage administrator. And it's okay, you can still use the uh, MR RAID controllers, I mean, it's the bulk of what they are, um, but they do need to be configured under the F9 system utilities. So that's one note that I did really want to point out, and also wanted to point out that uh, the SR RAID controllers are the ones that do support smart storage administrator, so the SR are the only RAID controllers that support uh, SSA. So those are some important things to note. Um, and after that, uh, not a ton else going on here, but these are some good specs to get you started. All right, so I've got my ESD gear on, so we are safe to uh, handle the parts, install them in the machine. Uh, so first things first, uh, I wanted to show you a version of the OCP3 that we're gonna be installing. All that we're gonna need to do our install is the T10 bit, but here is your OCP3. It's a, I love this design to be quite honest with you. You'll see it when we install it in the back. It just pops right in. Um, so it's a pretty cool card overall. So we'll show you how to do the install right now. So just make sure your latch is set to unlock. Pop your top. And that's one thing I also love is how clean the top of a brand new server is compared to some of the used ones out there. Um, so now what we're going to need to do is install a RAID controller over here. So this is where the OCP slot is. It's in the back down here. So all we're going to need to do is remove our PCIe riser right here. So just pop these two blue tabs up. And then you're going to want to essentially unscrew them. And it's going to lift your riser from the board. So now we can actually remove our riser. And we're just going to take this and put this to the side. And your OCP will literally just slide into the back right here. These two black plastic pieces have a groove that it'll just slide right into. And it'll go right up to the connections. And you're just going to want to push this in. And here, a nice firm click. Push it all the way in. There you go. So now it is fully in. All right, so now we're going to do the two cables. So we are just going to take this first cable right here, and we're going to plug it in over here. And it's really simple. It will just line up and pop right in. And you hear it click into place. Now we're going to go nice and slow with this white cable because it is definitely very fragile. So we're just going to line this up and we're going to install it right here. 
And we're just going to simply just push this in. And you'll hear it click in and just nice and gentle. So now this is fully in. So we're going to go ahead and get the cables put back over here. And really, I need to get a zip tie to kind of clean these up. But the risers will uh, essentially hide them when we put it back down. But I do like to have the cables just cleaned up a little bit. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and install our riser back. So we're just going to line everything up. And I'm going to hold my cables over here just to keep them out of the way. You'll see all these will line up over here. They're going to line up in the back. And we're just going to push this down. And then we're going to go ahead and screw this back in. Close it. Screw this back in close it and we have successfully installed our raid controller so the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to show you how to configure raid 5. all right today we're going to show you how to set up raid 5 on your hpe proliant gen 11 server the method that we're going to use is going to access the systems utilities and we're going to require a physical or software RAID in order to see the drives and configure them. This is a great method to configure RAID levels since according to HPE, the RAID cards cannot be configured on your SSA or your smart storage administrator. So what we're going to do is a different method and show you exactly how to do it. The items that you're gonna need, your RAID card, of course, which can be PCIe or OCP, your server, of course, and at least three drives. This method works with both SR and MR RAID controllers. So here's how we're gonna do it. First thing you're gonna do is install all your drives into your server, turn your server on. While the server initializes, press F9 to access the systems utilities. This might take a little bit of time until the server finishes booting. On the systems utility page, click system configuration. On the system configuration page, click on the RAID card that you have installed. In this case, it would be the OCP slot 14 HPE MR 408i-0 for our Gen 11 server. Now on the RAID card page, click on the main menu. This will give you access to a configuration page where you can configure RAID and the hard drive settings. On the main menu, click on the logical drive management option to verify that there are no other logical drives in the system. Then go back, click on the configuration management, then click on create logical drive option. This will give you the ability to choose the unconfigured drives that you need to create RAID 5. In this case, we're gonna select all three drives and click OK. Then we'll check confirm and click yes. After confirming the drives, the system will send you to the create logical drive page in here, you'll be able to create your RAID level with the drives that you've selected. Go to select RAID level and choose RAID 5. Then scroll down to select drives option and press enter. In here, you should be able to choose the unconfigured drives to create your RAID level. In this case, we will select all of them and click on apply changes and then OK. The system will send you back to the Create Logical Drives page and here scroll down to Save Configuration option and click Enter. Select Confirm and click on Yes, then click on OK. Congratulations, you've done it. You have created a RAID 5 on your ProLiant Gen 11 server. If you return to Logical Drive Management, you will be able to see your Logical Drive and check the drives associated with it. Hey, if you made it this far, click that like and smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built new or used HPE, Dell, Cisco, IBM, Supermicro, we would love the opportunity to earn your data center's business. Please email us at sales at cloudninjas.com. That's sales at cloudninjas.com.